Hey guys, uh, live from my kitchen, I'm going to show you how to create a buy one, get one discount. Um, so we want to the user to buy one and to get one for free. So there are basically two ways to do this. In the discount, you can give a dollar discount or a percentage discount. I would recommend to use the dollar discount because you can make sure that if the customer buys three, four, five items, you still give only one for free. But this is working only if you know exactly the price of the product. So that means this rule of discount is working if you make a discount only on one product or specific to a product. So I'm going to show you how. Uh, first of all, you my product that I want to discount is 16 bucks. So I'm going to discount 16 bucks of a purchase of a minimum two uh, books. I mean, this is the product that I'm displaying here. I'm going to show you after how you can make it uh, in another way. So you don't, you, you really create a specific discount to a specific product but now this is of all orders because I just have one product in my store which is probably and I mean sure it's not the case for you guys so you go in apps you open the automatic discount app if you don't have yet you just install it and you scroll down and you just copy paste this and what I want is I want the same item item if it's purchase equal or more than two then I want to apply a discount I'm gonna open a new tab in a private one so it's in incognito mode so this way you know that I'm not cheating <laughs> so I'm gonna go on my website which is crappy, but just for the demo. And I'm going to buy this book that I wrote, by the way. I'm going to add two quantity and add to the card. As you notice, I got a 16 bucks discount and it's automatically applied at checkout as well now I'm going to show you how to create the same thing buy one get one free but specific to a product and there's something you really need to uh, not to do I would say so first of all ask yourself what is the price of my product and divide this by two why two because if you put the price of your product it will discount a hundred percent of the product and if you add a second product it will discount a hundred percent of this product as well so the customer won't pay in the thing so what I want to do I'm gonna create my product is 16 bucks so I created eight of Canadian 8 on a specific product that I'm gonna select and I click save then I go here a I created 8 off which is exactly the discount code that I created here and I do the same thing now because I have two rules that are the same this is the rule and this is the value it's all also the same it won't work so I have two choices to create a different value and to put it above or because I just want to show you this example I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna open another incognito tab
And now I'm going to buy the same two books. And I get the 16 bucks discount. So it's the same thing. So like I said, if you would have created a 16 off, it would have been 16 multiplied by 2 because it's twice the same product. So you would end up with $0 uh, to pay as a customer. Now I'm going to create a new rule. And I'm going to show you how to, uh, to create the same thing, buy one, get one, but using a percentage of instead of a dollar so if I want to create a 50% off all orders I won't bother like specific to a collection or to a product or to a customer group right now what I want to show you is how to set up the rules in the right order so it works every time so I want to create a buy one get one so this is the 50% off discount and I do the same. I could select as well, no matter which items are is purchased, you get another one for free. You cannot do like get the cheapest one for free yet. You cannot do this, but um, you can get one for free for 50% off actually. So it will not be the cheapest that will be free it will be 50 percent of the total of the money that you spend so i'm gonna stay because i only have one product in my demo store i'm gonna stay with the same item more than two you get 50 percent off so open a new tab again I add two, I add to the card, and I get 50% off. Again, here the 50% is applied. There's one, one problem though. If I put three, I update the card. the 50% will still be there so I don't get one for free I get one and a half so this is not what I want what I want is get one for free so like I just said before you do a dollar discount if you want to just give a maximum of 16 bucks which is the equivalent of one product but if you don't know the value of the product because you don't know what the customer will buy then you use a percentage but you use if you use 50% and the customer buy more than two then you're kind of fuck so what you can do is create other rules to restrict the first so you have two choices the first one is to create a smaller discount that will be 33.33% if the customer buy three or more of the same item and you can also in the same logic give 25% off if he buys four or more of the same item and if you think someone will be crazy enough to buy <laughs> five of the same item then you create another rule that says this the reason why i put this in that order is because the app will always check for the top rule in priority from top to bottom so 
how the app works is it will check is there five items of the same item in the cart if no is there four if no is there three if no is there two and then it applies the, the right rule so again going to show you a new tab sorry about that So you see, I get less discount. So this is 33.33. If I put four, I got 25%. Still get the $60. If I put five, actually it, it should be 33.34. So that's why we got 15.99. And then I still got only one product for free. So this is the way to do it. We made this possible because of this no rules match module that is currently active. If you deactivate it, you save 349 per month. But this, what it does is it check in real time when the customer go back and forth to the cart, add, remove items, go to the checkout, go back, add, remove items, edit cart, and then he gets or she gets the right discount that she or he deserve. So this is what it does. Uh, of course, there's other few customization that you can do. If you don't like the pop-up, you can choose a bar and you can customize the message. You can also have a look at our new tab. That is a just a small graph of how many discount that people applied uh, this week. And other metrics and conversion ideas will come pretty soon. So um, I think I made... Uh, I made a great example of everything that I wanted to say about buy one, get one free. You could also do it in a different way. What you can do is, let's say I want to create a buy two, get three. Yeah, buy two and get a third for free. So what I can do is create a first rule that says, that says, let's say if there's one or less item, let's say two or less, not one or less, I'm gonna display a 0% of discount that will display to the customer. If you buy another one, you get another one for free. Actually, I need to edit this. So buy two, get one free. Another one and get one. So, so
So that means when the customer will add one and go to checkout, if it's only one, you will see this 0% off. It might be frustrating, but at least you see that if he buys another one, he get another one for free. So the way we can do it now is if it's two or more, you get could be a dollar off because I know this product is sixteen dollar. Or like I said, don't create a sixteen dollar sp uh, discount specific to a product if the product is sixteen dollars because it will apply a hundred percent of the value of the product. You should create half of it, like I just said earlier in this video. But right now, what I want to do is to give thirty three point thirty three, which checks really should be thirty three point thirty four. So what it does, I'm going to show you. I mean, if I were you, I would do like the example I gave with the tier discount if two, if three, if four, if five. Uh, I think that's the smartest, but I'm just trying to give you other options and maybe you will come up with something a lot smarter than me because I mean, I cannot <laughs> find all the smart stuff on it. So you got a 0% discount, maybe it's too um, aggressive to get the pop up like this. You should uh, definitely use the the bar or to disable in this case. I will disable it and I will try it again. So this way I won't get any notification when a discount is applied. The bar is pretty cool too. I, I prefer the, the, the pop-up when it comes to um, display a real discount. Now I just don't want any pop-up or bar because I don't want to be arrogant with the customer because I don't give them any discount at all. So it's normal that you don't see anything that pops here. If I go to checkout, I see buy another one and get one free. You should uh, try a way to make it uh, shorter so it fits on one line, like buy one, uh, or buy to get one free then as a customer if I see this and say okay if I get another one I mean would be smarter for you guys if you have a sticky bar at top or at the bottom that says the promotion but maybe you don't have this so I need to buy two And then I get 30% off. So I get the uh, discount. So that's it. Uh, if you have some question or if you want me to be a more entertaining, well, give me some sleep and uh, <laughs> I will. Okay, bye-bye.